Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of McCall Media TV with myself, Angela McCall, whereby in today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to go behind the scenes into your WordPress database and actually manually update and amend your password for your admin user should for any reason you no longer have access. Now, it's all gonna be happening in this episode, but if you haven't been here before, I do uh, wanna show you just how you can reach out to me on my social media accounts. Uh, please do also subscribe, stay notified to my channel. I do do videos on a whole variety of creative digital technologies that a small business owner is going to need in their day-to-day -day operations. So uh, without further ado, let's just sort of dive on in to this topic today. So um, I'm gonna dive onto my left-hand side monitor screen because what I have done is I have created an example website. So I've literally just uploaded to an out-of-the-box installation WordPress, okay? And we're just gonna log in. So um, this email address is just a dummy email address I've used for this uh, admin password for the moment. And if I show you the password here, it is literally password 2020 exclamation exclamation. Now, I've just done this purely as a way of creating a demo account and a demo website for the topic of this video today. And as soon as I have finished filming this website and everything that you are going to see will be completely and utterly deleted. So I need to be quite transparent in the process because you're gonna to need to be able to dive into the background and the, all the behind the scenes settings and configuration of your own WordPress website. And so you're gonna to need to know how things work Work, which is why obviously I don't want to demonstrate this on a live website that's for a client or myself which is why we have this live demo account that is going to basically be deleted in a short while but let's just say for whatever reason um, you've forgotten your password and you want to do your password reset but you don't actually have access to that email account anymore uh, it can happen, people change things, update things, and then realize they've got themselves stuck. And, that, and you're in this kind of sort of chicken and egg scenario whereby you can't update your password because you don't have the email account that you can access when that when WordPress sends you through the, like the, the verification email to, to update your password. And so you're stuck in this vicious, vicious circle knowing that you just need to get into the back end of your website, but you can't do so. So this is how um, uh, you could get around this problem. So for the moment I'm, I'm just going to log in just for the moment using this password that I've just saved in my browser purely so you can have a look because what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the users at the moment so obviously you can see that I've created this person called example website and I've given them this uh, fictitious email address just so that I can get something up and running uh, and so you can see here quite clearly that they are the administrator now this process that I'm going to teach you today does work for any type of user because we're going to be accessing the table in the database that manages all of the users that uh, become part of your website uh, but at the moment I just want to explain just obviously to make sure that you guys are clear because when you do start fiddling with information in the actual database itself you are kind of playing with God as it were and your website so you really don't want to make a mistake and you do need to keep all your bearings and faculties about you so that you're understanding what's going on there we go, we can see there's an email. Now this is a fictitious email address, so even if I wanted to do that password reset on the logon page, it's gonna to go to an email account that doesn't exist, so I haven't got access to that, that email verification process that WordPress would send. So how would you update your password? Well, what I've done here is I've logged into my hosting, um, this D DBS is the database name and this is the database configuration. And again, this whole database will disappear in literally about half an hour after I finished filming this video for you today. But I want you to see that obviously when you're setting up your WordPress website, you're gonna be asked for your, word, your hosting, you're gonna be asked for the database username and all that kind of stuff. And you would have also set up um, your password. This is all the, the, the information that you need for configuring your front end WordPress files to work with your back end. So we actually need to now access the data that is stored in this database. Now, all good hosting providers will provide you a means to do so. Um, there's three different versions going on down here, but we're gonna work with the PHP MyAdmin, which is one of the most original and common ways 
of act accessing your MySQL database. And the reason we're gonna do and work with this one, I'm just gonna click on open PHP, my admin there, is because it provides you with an interface to actually access the hard written code um, and the, the data that's hidden in your tables that make up your MySQL database instead of actually just working with it as a text editor as it were. Now, uh, depending on your hosting company, they may have like obviously added their own branding and things like this, but generally what happens is on the left hand side here will be your database. Um, I honestly happen to just name things with serial numbers. Uh, your hosting company might ask you to actually name your database. There's lots of different ways that they may work, but you will generally access your database and you can expand all of the different tables that live inside this database. Now, as you can see, I've scrolled all the way down. There's a bottom one here called users. And when we click on that, you will see here, this is that example. This is my admin um, user that we've created over here. So this is this person here. So for example, if I was to change uh, their name, um, let's put this as my name, Angela McCall. And we go on down here, let's say we um, display the name publicly as my name, Angela McCall, and we hit update profile. You can see now over on the right hand side, it shows you the display name. So you can see that this is now working in the actual data itself. And um, this is obviously how you would access it from a normal user's perspective inside the admin panel of WordPress. But what we wanna do is we now need to explore. Now, if you can imagine, this is just one row in this table. Now, if we had 10 users, maybe you had someone doing the editing or the copying or subscribers, you'd have all of this, these different people listed going on down and obviously one person or one user per row. But we're gonna click on that edit button right now. And this is basically now where we're actually accessing the names of the tables, the types of data that get stored in those cells, as it were, uh, things that we can do with the data and then the actual value itself. Now, if we look here, the user logon is the original example website, which is what I called this. If we go back up here and I show you this, um, this is the username here, uh, which we cannot change, but technically we can, because we could change it right now in the actual database, and we'll do that in just a moment. This is the password, which as you can see, is a whole series of gobbledygook, different characters, upper and lowercase numbers, uh, letters, all sorts. Then we've got the user email, um, the URL, that's fine. Date and time, it was all created, that's great. And as we can see now, we've got the display name because I've changed that uh, on the fly just a moment ago. So in here, um, say for example, now we didn't like this username, we could actually overwrite this user logon and username and actually call it Angela oh, McCall. Okay, and if I was to update this right now, click go. Okay, you can see that the login here has now changed to Angela McCool and we've just kicked me out because of obviously we've just changed the, the details of the admin, it's security. So I'm just gonna log back in, that's fine, and then refresh the page. But now you can see here, the username has actually changed, even though it tells you usernames cannot be changed. So you can see how powerful and also potentially security risk if the wrong person get hold of your hosting account details, because they could easily dive on in through to your database settings into PHP My Admin. And if they knew what they were doing, they could tweak and manually update things. Now let's look at this password, which is the main purpose of today's video. Okay, so let's go back into edit this particular user. Now, as we can see here, this is a serial number. And right at the beginning of the video, I showed you that it was password 2020 and then two exclamation marks, which clearly isn't that. So what's happened is, is WordPress, even in the database itself, has encrypted for security the password that's in use as the admin on this particular user. Now, if we want to update it, we can do so. Uh, and this is where you could do so, say for example, like I said at the beginning, you've lost access to the email account, you can get around it by coming into the PHP My Admin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select something called MD5, which is kind of an encryption uh, protocol, as it were, for this particular field. So it doesn't matter what field, if, if I wanted to encrypt the, the logon name 
or an email address or something, I could do so using this function, this MD5 function, which is why, again, I wanted to make sure that you've got your bearings with you, you've got your faculties around you, your brain cells are clicked in, you've, you know, you're hyped up, you've got your coffee, because if you make a mistake in something that you do here, you could potentially screw up your whole entire website. So this is really a process that you wanna do as last resort. So let's come in here now and change this. So let's go to, um, I'm filming this in October, so let's go October 2020 and double exclamation mark, October. So this is my now highly secure password, but let's, let's say that this is what I want it to be now. And if I come down here and click go, as you can see now, it's encrypted. So this is kind of like a, a quick view of all the t all the, the users. But you can see now there is this big old serial number. And if I was to dive straight back into this, okay, you can see that it is once more encrypted. So that's how easy it is to update the password. And we're gonna prove that now because we're gonna log out and log back in with the new password. So I'm gonna dive on over and it's already identified the fact that I'm gonna to have to do this. So it's kicked me out already because there's security risks. So the email address hasn't changed in this particular case. And if we look at the password, there we go. That was what was saved in my browser so that we could demonstrate this process. And if I try and log on with the old password now, it doesn't like it. So what we need to do now is type October uh, 2020 double exclamation. Let me just show you that so that you can see. So now you can see here that I'm now using the new updated password that we just created using that MD5 process. I'm gonna click on OK or login and there we go. And I've just updated it in the browser just so that I can get access whilst I'm demonstrating this to you. So there is lots and lots of things here that you can, you can learn. So basically going into your database, it doesn't matter where in the database you are, you're actually handling the raw data itself. Now, obviously, the more complex your website becomes with the more plugins that you have, all of the things that you do get installed into or saved, the data, the configurations, the styles, everything gets logged inside your MySQL database. Um, so do, do take extra precaution when you're fiddling around because you don't want to upset the apple cart. And I would always advocate before you do anything, make sure you've taken a backup of your website first of all. So I just wanted to basically uh, explain and show you some of the sort of tricks of the trade as it were to help you guys out if you are struggling to access your uh, website and you don't have the email account or anything like that. If you've got access to the hosting, dive on in through to the database, go into PHP My Admin, go look for the table for your users, find the user that you want to update and then you'll be able to allocate a new email address if you need to and you'll also be able to update using that MD5 process, the password that is in, in place and then you'll be able to regain access. So that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please add them in the comments below. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this entire example website right now and all of the database and all of the things I've just shown you are about to get deleted. So don't worry about trying to sort of have a play with my actual site. It doesn't exist by the time you guys watch this video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on another episode real soon.